All right, so breaking news this morning from Five, where a commercial building was on fire all morning long. Fox 13's Dan Griffin is live there with the latest details. Dan, you were speaking with people who uh, have items in there. You spoke to somebody on the scene kind of telling you about what happened this morning. So walk us through what the morning was like there. Well, it certainly was a crazy morning, to say the least, China. You can see there's work still happening right now. Fire crews spraying the top of the building. What they're doing is working to try to make sure that they keep this damp and control any potential spot fires or hot spots here. It was about 3 this morning that business officials here at Omega Morgan say that a crane operator showed up to go to work and found the building was on fire. A neighbor I talked with here said he saw flames shooting 40 or 50 feet into the air from this building as the flames really raged inside. One of the biggest things that they say uh, was very important here was making sure that no employees and nobody was inside or uh, hurt, and that is the case. Nobody was hurt, so that's good news there. At this point, it's not clear what started the fire, though, this big fire. Uh, talking with officials here, they tell me that they do a lot of heavy machinery, crane operation work, storage work here as well, and apparently there was fuel in there with those cranes uh, leading, apparently giving fuel to the fire here. Take a listen to one of the officials I talked with as I asked him about describing the flames and what he saw. Well, they were substantial. We had uh, quite a bit of fuel. Uh, it was a mechanic shop. We, uh, we stored cranes in there and we worked on our, our machines. And so we had quite a, quite a devastating uh, moment. Now, another interesting element here. So there's another part of the building that's actually used for storage. We've seen pristine boats, cars, and other items pulled out of that area, apparently unaffected by the fire here. So that's good news. But again, fire officials still here on the scene working to control any potential hot spots or um, spot fires, as they call them here. And I expect to do that throughout the day as they try to come to some kind of an understanding as to what led up to this fire in the first place. So we'll keep following this for you and bring you the very latest as we get it. For now, we're live in five. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.